material starts off flat and is approximately 1 16th longer than the clamps that hold it in place. The material is constrained by the end clamps and held into the bell shaped curve. The core material is mylar and it is around 12 thousandths thick. The load is applied from the top, pushing down the bell shaped curve. shifts to uh, two nodes. At this point the material is supporting the weight of the press and the weight of the press itself is enough to hold the material in, in its uh, neutral state. The amount of weight is required to push the first bell curve down to two nodes and the weight of the press itself is able to push it down to three nodes at this point. Slight increase of force I can push it to three nodes. It snaps into the, through its phase chain to form the four nodes. Pressure is applied, force press uh, further down with uh, extra weight and until it hits a, another node, stable point. The core material can be pressed further down. Should be a uh, good fit for uh, recoil reduction or impact reduction. Uh, non recoiling rifles or crash barriers. Ah, can't quite get down a little further. Attempt to uh, compress the vise down a little further on the uh, material to shift it to a higher phase. Increases evenly, it will continue to shift. It is starting to reach its yield strength. Greatly reduced, lower than the original. The material is returned to its original shape. The material has a minimal amount of increase. Uh, the way it started out, there are some slight uh, increases due to yield strength and radius, but that's at the ultimate tensile strength or ultimate yield strength of the material.